Donald Trump doesn't like anyone telling him what to do or otherwise restricting his behavior. Such oppositional behavior has its roots in Trump's childhood, when he took great pleasure in behaving like a destroyer who refused to listen to his father. Trump's criminal behavior eventually led to him being sent to military school. As Trump grew into adulthood, he would continue his antisocial behavior, including brooding and attraction to violence and other inhumane behavior. In his opinion, Trump is always the winner and has no use for losers or human weakness. Trump believes he has superior genes and intelligence because of his German ancestry. But in the 21st century reality, women and black and brown people still have the same basic rights as rich white men like Trump. At least on paper. This means black brown people women can be judges, prosecutors, attorneys general, other members of courts law enforcement with the power to hold rich white men like Trump accountable for their crimes lawbreaking. Donald Trump is a bully and a predator at heart. And he likes to be that way. In many ways, Trump's defiant behavior and drive were responsible for his success in business and his subsequent capture of the White House in 2020. He has divine powers in his personal relationships, business, politics, and life more generally. Trump loves conflict and belittling those he perceives as enemies. Trump lashes out and becomes angry when he should be exercising restraint in his actions and, more generally, acting reasonably and responsibly. This is not behavior an ordinary citizen. Trump is one most powerful people in country and leader a tens millions strong neo-fascist movement. As leader of Republican Party and American neo-fascist movement. Trump will become country's first de facto dictator if he wins back White House in 2025. These plans include Trump's Agenda 47, as well as Project 2025 and the Red Caesar scenario. If Trump Republican fascists broader white right are successful in their revolutionary plans to end America's pluralistic, multiracial democracy, civil human rights of black brown people, women, LGBTQI community. Other marginalized people will be significantly rolled back. Rolled back. If not to the 19th century or earlier. Then at least to the 1950s. When Trump other Republican fascists and conservatives talk about a return to traditional values, restoring America, the good old days, making America great again, what they really mean is a return to almost total value. The control and power that white men have over others as a group in American society. In a recent conversation with Salon, journalist Catherine Stewart described what such an America would be like in general terms. We can say that there will be privileged groups in society. Those with correct religious political views. And those who are despised disliked. The far right seeks to impose a majoritarian culture fear. Where if you do not fit a certain prototypica,